very 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 good morning to you you're with me Vasam Ismail watching good morning Sri Lanka here on MTV sports well we're just after the first weekend of 2013 and most importantly it is the first Monday of the year and it's the 7th of January and I wish that you have an excellent excellent day ahead now um, last week uh, at the beginning of the year on the show we were talking about new year resolutions and stuff and I'm sure most of you would have you know come up with your own uh, new year resolutions I know I have and the whole idea of having these new year resolutions are to you know uh, for our own personal growth and success to achieve things uh, but of course we have this tendency of you know um, following our resolutions just for the first few weeks of the year and then forgetting about it but the secret really is determined Determination and perseverance. Uh, and on that note, I'm going to start the show off with just uh, reading out a small quote from Gail Devers, who's a three time Olympic champion from the United States of America. And this is what she said um, Keep your dreams alive. Understand to achieve anything requires faith and belief in yourself, vision, hard work, determination, and dedication. Remember, all things are possible for those who believe. So I hope that you believe and don't let go of your resolutions because the reason you have kept them is to be better people and to achieve things for personal growth. On that note, uh, I'm just going to uh, tell you what we have in store for the show uh, this morning. And first off, um, we have something to do with technology and that's robots and I know that uh, uh, robots are something that is internationally evolving and as technology goes by and as we see the coming years we are going to see more evolvement in this area of technology and here we have a small video about how robots uh, assist in uh, household chores have a look at this how about a robot to help you out around the house or a spare pair of hands in the kitchen the new Robotville exhibition at London Science Museum takes a look at the role robots are increasingly playing in our everyday lives. Many of the robots have been developed in European research labs. For instance, development of Dora the Explorer is being led by Birmingham University where Nick Hawes is a lecturer. Dora is a curious robot that can explore her surroundings and build up a map. And once she's got a map, she can then do tasks for you, like finding objects and navigating around the home. We could start off seeing much sort of smaller versions of this being advances on the current cleaning technology, so hoovering robots, mopping robots, and there's um, some lawn mowing robots. You could then kind of incorporate this mapping technology and the exploration technology so they can find new places to clean, they can find the dirty spot under your sofa, things like that. 2011 marks the 90th anniversary of the first recorded use of the word robot in a play by Czech writer Karel Čapek. Robotville showcases robots with different applications, from humanoid ones to ones used to perform surgery. Kat Nielsen is contemporary science manager at the Science Museum. There's some really, really interesting projects going on in Europe that really are cutting edge. I mean, if you look at some of the, the hands, their movement is really, really lifelike. But robots aren't just for the future. Meet Casper, designed to help during therapy for autistic children who aren't really able to interact with the outside world. Here it's looking slightly mischievous and thinking about things. Dag Sirtle is a researcher at the University of Hertfordshire. Interacting with a human over time can be stressful and tiring. And so what Casper becomes is a safe middle object, a mediator, from which the me therapist can then interact with the child through it by using human-like emotions. But they're not real human emotions, so they're easier to relate to for the child. And through that they can learn to interact better with other humans. Robots are already helping us to learn more and do less. Developers say it'll be a long time before they're doing all our chores. But these exhibits demonstrate Europe's leading role in robot research and design. Joanna Partridge, Reuters. Well, there you go. That's with robots and household chores. Of course, um, the technology of robots is an evolving theme internationally, but I suppose it may take us some time here in Sri Lanka to actually find use uh, for robots here. Uh, but that being said, um, I want to take you on to another topic now. A um, few years ago, who would have thought 
that you and I would be carrying smartphones, which, by the way, uh, we, 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 who would have thought that we'll find it hard to actually go by a day without the use of a smartphone? Now, I, I can't uh, go by without using my Android phone every day because, I mean, I multitask a lot and my device makes me, keeps me informed and uh, helps me get by the day. But what if I tell you that your smartphone may not have to be a handheld device anymore? What if it was something that you actually wear on your face and go around and is actually a part of you, uh, which you see through rather than carry? Um, this, that's right, Google has announced that they are about to launch something in the near future which is called Project Glass. Now imagine wearing a pair of goggles uh, which acts like a smartphone and actually can do so many other things which your smartphone device right now can't do. Uh, for example, um, you can go around and see street signs and stuff and instantly get uh, information uh, about the things you want to, you know, find out about in terms of streets and uh, it'll give you information on Google Maps and etc. webcam chats. Um, you'll find a lot more about this as you look at this video. Check it out. front of Strand Books at 2. Hmm. Oh man, really? Hey there guy, hey there little guy. Sweet. Remind me to buy tickets for Monsieur Gano tonight. Where's the music section? Uh, oh, yes. This is it. Is Paul here yet? Hey. Hey, dude. How's it going? Wanna go check out that new place I was telling you about? Sure. This truck's really good. Hey, just a second. Cool. Good to see you again. Thanks, man. Just got a new place, now I'm City. See you, dude. Whoa, cool. Take a photo of this. Share it to my circles. I'm running late. Music, stop. Hi, what's up? Hey. Hey. You want to say something cool? Yeah, sure. Is that a ukulele? Yep. Okay, here goes. What a beautiful video indeed. Uh, something I like most about the video is when he actually pulls out the ukulele and you know starts playing the theme song of uh, the video itself, which is I think quite nicely done. Uh, of course, Google has been coming up with really cool. Um, technologically advanced products and I'm sure in the near future all our uh, Android phones and Blackberries and iPhones are just going to be put to shame when devices like these start coming out and apparently uh, they may introduce it to the market for about thousand five hundred dollars when it's ready but this is just a prototype that they have released it's not on sale yet uh, but in the near future we'll see uh, what it's going to be like on that note we are going to take a short break and come back right here on Good Morning Sri Lanka. 